He may no longer be Prime Minister or even an MP, but somehow Boris Johnson dominated today's Prime Minister's questions. And he wasn't even there. The Labour leader went for the current Prime Minister over the honours list put forward by the previous one. For all his tough talk after the event, the Prime Minister did sign off the honours list. Yeah. And that means, that means, Mr Speaker, that those who threw a Downing Street party the night before the late Queen sat alone at her husband's funeral will now receive awards from the King. If he's so tough, why didn't you block it? Yeah. Mr. Mr Speaker, as I said, I and the Government follow due process and convention. Prime Ministers, Prime Ministers of both parties have always upheld the convention of non-interference on political honours. My predecessors may not have agreed with Labour's choices of Tom Watson or Shami Chakrabarti, but the same, but the same precedent Mr Speaker, the same precedent stood then as it does now, and I'd expect a knight like him to understand that. Yeah. Boris Johnson does still have some friends on the Conservative benches, but quite a few have given up on the former member for Uxbridge and South Ryslip. I'm sure the Prime Minister remembers him. He's the one who said that we should be more Conservative. If only he'd had a, a majority of 80 and been Prime Minister, he might have been able to do something about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boris Johnson's great ally, Nadine Dorries, hasn't formally resigned yet, five days after she said she was doing so immediately. So the by-election for her seat is stalled. Another of his former colleagues who didn't have to be there today to cause him trouble. So, Andy, bring us up to date. What is going on with these by-elections, then? We know there are going to be two in the seat of Boris Johnson and Nigel Adams, another Conservative MP who resigned. The former processes started for that, and that will happen, both of those by-elections, by the end of July. But the formal process for Nadine Dorries cannot start because she has not yet resigned. And Downing Street are clearly annoyed about it. They said today that the people of Mid-Bedfordshire, her constituency, deserve proper representation. In other words, they think Nadine Dorries right now is not giving that proper representation. Um, Rishi Sunak does not want this to drag on. That is the day the longer this goes on, there's a by-election maybe sometime even into the summer, into the autumn. Uh, but it is dragging on. He doesn't like it, but there's not much he can do about it because Nadine Dorries is the only one who can actually resign. They don't know what she's playing at, frankly, but it's causing them more of a headache. I'm sure it is. And what about that other big issue, Andy, the Partygate report? Have we got confirmation, finally, about when that's going to come out? We have. We're expecting that tomorrow morning. But just as you thought this couldn't get any more crazy, listen to this. Uh, Guido Fawkes, uh, a website, a news website, has reported that uh, Sir Bernard Jenkin, a Conservative member of the Privileges Committee, which has been investigating Boris Johnson, they have said that he himself, Sir Bernard, broke uh, lockdown rules in a party back in December 2020. Now, he has denied doing that. But on hearing that news, Boris Johnson issued his own statement to say that, if true, Sir Bernard has no choice but to explain his actions to his own committee for his colleagues to investigate and then to resign. So even more complicated, but we still think we're going to get that report tomorrow morning. OK, Andy Bell, thank you very much.